going on guys? My name is David. I'm coming at you all with a brand new LEGO Ninjago video and in today's video I have some very exciting news because some of the Season 9 set descriptions have been revealed. I believe these are some or most of the Season 9 sets and they were actually shown on a Dutch retail site. Although the sets are not available to purchase yet, but these are all translated English descriptions of those Dutch set descriptions. I also did hear that some of the Season 9 sets are starting to pop up on the Australian Amazon website and some of them of course have these set descriptions so these are all legit set descriptions so I thought I might just go one by one through all these set descriptions and give you guys my thoughts on all of these sets so first up we have uh, the 70653 set help Kai and Cole save firstborn the mother of all the dragons the claws of the dragon hunters with a flopping wing the firstborn dragon uh, avoids the shooting of the dragon hunters with a powerful tail eject the hunters who get off the helicopter and do not be baited by the delicious roasted chicken launch in front of the muzzle of the wrist. Will the Ninja Warriors manage to defeat Heavy Metal, Chew Toy, Jet Jack, and Muzzle to recover the precious dragon armor? Everything depends on you. So obviously these aren't going to be spot on translation since they obviously use Google Translate to translate all these descriptions, but we get a general idea of what the set is supposed to be about. And so this is obviously that Red Dragon set that we saw from some of the leaked set images uh, earlier on in the year. So this is a very cool set and I do like the dragon build overall and so the set description does look very very cool and I cannot wait to get my hands on this set. The next one we have right here is the Stormbringer Dragon set and so it reads Ride Stormbringer Dragon with J and Spit Lightning. But beware, Daddy No Legs is trying to catch this powerful creature with his vengeful stone chain. Send him into the background with a tail while Zane confronts Muzzle. Will you be able to defeat the Dragon Hunters with the Dragonborn Sword and recover the precious Dragon Breastplate? So obviously in the entire season we're going to be collecting some kind of Dragon Armor, which I'm assuming is the Golden Samurai Armor that we've seen images of before, and when you put together that entire suit, you get the armor to put on, assumably of course Master Wu. And the next description we have right here is go on a fearless mission and liberate Lloyd from the Palace of Secrets with the Lego Ninjago concentration in the throne room. Destroy the wall with Skylar to enter the throne room and confront Princess Harumi with Mia but be careful. Harumi is equipped with katanas and golden blades. Collect the key in the secret compartment of the throne and help Samurai X to free Lloyd before you escape together. So I did not notice that there's actually a Lloyd minifigure in this set and I might be mistaken but if the set description does say that there's a Lloyd minifigure in the set, then there probably is, but I have not seen one as of yet. However, if there are going to be five minifigures in that set total, that is going to be a great deal because the overall build is quite small, and so having a set like this probably for around $40 would be such a good deal because you're going to be getting five really wanted minifigures. And uh, keep in mind, guys, that this is all going to be still in Ninjago because from the Season 8 finale that we've actually gotten, we obviously know that the ninja have transported themselves into the realm of the Oni and the Dragon, and so this takes place in Ninjago where Harumi is still there, and she is ruling, I'm assuming, from this Palace of Secrets. And the next set description we have right here, it says, Build Lego Ninjago uh, Destiny's Wing from the remains of the Destiny's Bounty, and go out with Kai as he flies over the desert and fire the cool bomb shooters and weapons with spring mechanisms off the plane. But watch out for Jet Jack, who attacks with her jetpack and spear. Keep her at bay with Kai's katanas and grab the valuable dragon sword. So this is probably one of the smaller sets of the entire wave. I believe it was usually called the Arrow, and it looks like an arrow. And it's a really cool looking vehicle, but it's not really one of my favorites because there are other sets out there that I think are better valuably and they just look much more better than this one but this is still a cool set to get nonetheless and it's really cool that the ninja have created a vehicle from the remains of the destiny's bounty because I was indeed wondering how they're going to be transporting themselves in this brand new realm and of course the destiny's bounty was destroyed by Garmin's ginormous Colossi but of course that question has been answered with the set description the next set description reads beware iron baron heavy metal Skullbreaker and Muzzle are all part of their powerful diesel utility tank. Grab your weapons and stop them along with Teen Wu, Jay, and Zane. Dodge the weapons with spring mechanisms and the crane with the ninja griper from the diesel knot. Avoid getting caught in the prison of this monstrous vehicle and make sure that those cruel dragon fighters do not get the full dragon harness. So this pretty much confirms that the Golden Samurai is going to be Wu because Wu is actually in this set 
and the only other figure that's there besides the ninja and the dragon hunters is the golden samurai so i think it's safe to assume that the golden samurai is indeed Wu, and i'm assuming that he also grows up in this season and he becomes teen Wu. and he's probably going to be a similar age to the ninja and then the final set we have here is the biggest set of the entire wave it is a flagship set it is the dragon pit and so here's the official description Hurry with the ninja heroes to the dragon pit and rescue the dragons captured by Arn Baron and the dragon hunters. Dodge the shots that are fired from the double guns on the roof of the watchtower. Protect the dragon master who wears the full dragon harness. And pay attention, the prison has a trap door through which the ninja heroes end up in the pit with the ruthless earth dragon while the evil Iron Baron watches from his throne. So this pretty much confirms that the Earth Dragon is actually the same exact dragon that we saw in the promotional images with all the dragon hunters located on top of it because that dragon is a smaller dragon and it is also found and included in this dragon pit set from all the leaked images that we received prior to this. So it is a really cool looking wave and I'm actually really excited for these sets because the Diesel Nod set and the Dragon Pit set are both sets that I think are excellent Ninjago sets and I cannot wait to get my hands on them. And I'd love to know your guys' opinion on all these set descriptions down in the comment section below. Of course, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, then please leave a like and subscribe for more LEGO Ninjago videos coming guys each and every day and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any more of my Ninjago videos and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out guys. Oh,